Welcome back to the channel guys and to another video. And in this video guys we are carrying on with the tool. I actually mounted it to this to this back plate. I done that off camera. I scribed the holes out, the mounting holes out through this flanges at the back onto the onto the disc that was on this uh, back plate here. And um, so the video will be starting with me drilling the holes, the mounting holes for this. I hope you enjoy the video guys. So I'm drilling one of the of the three holes now to tap eight millimeter for the cap screws. It's all tapped out. It's all bolted in, mounted. So the next thing now would be to start machining this not true to to this thing here like i said this isn't exactly as tight as what i thought to do as what i would like to, on here there was like a little bit of play but yeah we should get away with it let's see let's see what happens okay guys so i'm at this stage now here <clears throat> where i must machine that disc now down to that to sit on the the brake disc That's the inner part done now. Didn't come out too bad. Let's just check the size. Yeah, oh, that's like 86.5. That's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, so my next thing now is to give this about a 10 millimeter meat here. And then this lot here must all come out here. Okay, let's get cracking. Okay, I've just finished this face here. So my plans has changed a little bit. I said 10 millimeter landing for the brake test, but I think I'm going to make it this big, just to cater for the different size brake test. I think 10 millimeter might be too small. I mean, the bigger area, the better it is for the brake test to the more um, landing for the brake test to to sit on. So let's just check something. So. It will go. It will go on something like that. On there. So I think that face is actually big enough like that. And obviously, obviously the conical part will, will centralize the brake disc here on the inside on the shaft. So yeah, we're getting slowly. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just face, I'm just going to face this, this section here now, smoothen this section off. Then I'm going to bore this section here. So some of you might be wondering why is this back in the chuck where, as I said, I want to keep this bolt onto that. Uh, the simple reason is that for this bore here, it's 40 millimeter. I must make this 40 millimeter here. 
but the chuck throat is only 38 millimeter. The throat of actually the throat of the lathe is only 38 millimeter. So I thought I'll just bring it out again and then machine this. I can always put it back on at the back there and through it. Or maybe I'll change that plan too and maybe just leave it bolted to the chuck. I'll just see which which one centralizes the best and I probably will go with that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna face this. Do the boring there. should be fine eh okay, so I'm just busy with the bore now this one must open up to about 40 millimeters the shaft is 40 so this must be like this is tad over 40 40.05 or something I think nice force it in to be nice snug fit and then you'll have to be welded finish with this with a bore this let's see how the shaft fits let you see okay that should slide on there that's nice and snug I think I'll just Polish it a little bit more so it can just slide better through there. Because once it's in there, it must get welded up here. Weld it at the back, I'll cut the shaft off, and then I'll centralize the shaft to, to the old system here. Slowly but surely, we get in there, guys. Okay, so I put the shaft in the, in the vise. I'm going to chop it off here because this is the only section that we basically require here. That's going to sit inside that, inside the little disc thing, inside the jig. So I'm going to chop it down here. Okay. Okay, so just like that, she's gone. I'm just going to grind this area a bit now. To, uh, and give it a bit of a shampoo. Okay, that's grinded. So let me just get rid of some burrs here. Grinded a bit of a lead here into that hole. Feels okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I got it in and I put it on my steady, my live steady. So let's see how she runs. It's not looking too bad, it's actually running fairly straight. You can see on the shaft. No real weird wobbles or anything like that, so she seemed to be running rel relatively straight. Alright, let's take this out to be welded. So I started welding, started giving these tacks on the inside there. Doesn't look like like much now, but these are just tacks to to hold the the shaft kind of perpendicular to this thing because I got it still in the in the steady this side here, so the shaft should be nice and horizontal. So I'm gonna give it a few more tacks. But there, give it strength in all of those gaps. Maybe make that tack a little bit bigger. I'm gonna kind of run all around here. Then I'm gonna take it out and then weld inside there. Then we can see that focus is a little bit out while in there. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna be ending this video here. Hope you enjoyed it, found it quite informative. And uh, until the next one. Cheers.